so line 3ds emulator got updated and that's what we are going to look at today as is shown here this is version 2119 and this is the latest version so today we will be taking a look at the latest version of the line 3ds on android pc linux and mac os and also i'll be teaching you guys on how to download and install the emulator on these devices so if you are into 3ds gaming this video is rightly for you so without much ado let's get started now before i continue if you are new to this channel let me quickly explain what line 3ds emulator is line 3ds is an emulator for the nintendo 3ds serving as a fork and continuation of the citra emulator that sees development in early 2024 development for line 3ds began on march 4 2024 the same day as citra closed with the goal of establishing a separate successor with distinctive branding the emulator has been consistently updated, offering a high compatibility and stability for various 3DS titles. In all, Lime 3DS is a fork of Citra emulator that allows you to play Nintendo 3DS games on both Android, PC, Linux, and Mac OS. And in today's video, I'll be guiding you guys on how to get or how to set up the emulator on your devices without facing any error okay so before you can use the emulator on your device you need to download the lime 3ds emulator i mean you need to get the latest version and to get the latest version head over to the github page so this is the github page and this is the latest version lime 3ds version 2119 this is the latest version of the lime 3ds emulator and with this if you are android user you have to go for the android universal apk and if you are linux user you need to download the linux linux version and also if you are mac os user if you use if you are on mac os or you use mac device you will need to download the mac os universal.zip file and again as a Windows user or if you are using either Windows 10 or Windows 11, you need to download the windows.msv, this one, I mean this one, windows.msv or you can use the installer. Well, I prefer using the zip file, but you can go with the installer. The installer is a simple program that will install line 3ds on your pc after you run the installer so um with with the sake of this tutorial i will go with the zip file with the windows.msv zip file so um this is it you need to download it so after downloading the file you will see something like this as line 3ds windows v blah 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 dot zip well as in these states the file is in the zip format so what we will need or what we are going to do is we will need to extract this line 3ds file over here we will need to extract this zip file over here and if you are a new um you need to extract you need to extract this line 3ds file over here and to do that you can use program like 7zip or WinRAR. So um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using WinRAR. So um, head over to the WinRAR, WinRAR official web page. This is the official site of the WinRAR. And then download the latest version. Make sure you go for the 64 bit version. You have to download the, the latest version of the WinRAR. So um, I've already downloaded the winrar so let's let's run the setup okay so um this 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 is the winrar this is the version of winrar that i have over here as you can see it is a 64 meaning a 64 bits of the winrar so you need to install this this application i mean this program you need to install it on your device just press ok and then press down 
okay so um, now we are done with the installation of the rain rail so we can go ahead and proceed to the install to the installation of the lime 3d emulator so after you are done installing the rain rail just right click on the file just right click on the zip file like this and then you should see WinRAR in your menu like this you should see WinRAR in your menu so after you've seen the WinRAR just point your pointer on it and then you select the third one which is a strato line 3ds then followed by what is there so you need to uh, you need to select the third one like this and wait for it to finish the finish extracting okay so we are done with the extraction now we need to open the emulator like this so here we can see our emulator program dot exe file over here this is the this is the program this this is the this this is the one that we, we will need to run so double click it and run the program now here like this as a fresh start like this you need to do some simple settings over here and when you take a look at this place it says double click to add a new folder to the game list what this simply means is that we need to add the folder that contains our 3ds game so that we will be able to see our 3ds game at this home page like this so what you need to do is you need to double click this dark folder over here and then we you need to locate the folder that contains now here locate the folder that contains your 3ds game files or your 3ds runs okay so um after that you just press on select folder and then it should appear like this now when you look here I only have one two three four I only have four games now these are not all my games because some of my games are in the sub folder of the ROM folder so to show all my games at this stage like this bring your pointer to this this thing this place over here and then you right click after that you select or you tick on scan sub folders you tick on this one now you should see all your games okay so um, we are done with the installation of the line 3ds emulator what's left is some small setup for performance boost now drag your pointer to this place when you look here it says opengl now I, rec I recommend setting this one to vulcan I recommend setting it to work on because um lime 3ds emulator have a huge performance boost on vulcan so um, i recommend you guys on setting it to vulcan and then bring your pointer to um this section which says emulation and then you select configure so here let me guide you on setting up your controls here you select on controls and then make sure your controller either your ps4 ps5 or xbox 360 controller is plugged in make sure you plug in your controller and then you select this one which is auto map select this one select auto map like this and then press just press ok and then press a button on your controller then it will set it up for you automatically so um, we are done with the setting up of the controller now let's go to the graphic session um with the internal resolution i prefer going three times native which is this one and then not again in advanced graphics api make sure it's on Vulkan and also physical device now if you have um, external GPU if you have external GPU maybe RTS or GTS blah 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 
you, you should see it over here so if you have external gpu you just have to select your external gpu i'm as you can see i don't have any external gpu i just play the games on the cpu and which is intel z graphics 530 over here so if you have your external gpu instead inserted you should see it over here so you make sure you select your external gpu and with the layout um go with the larger screen go with this one larger screen with the layout go with larger screen so after um okay so let's let's tweak the ui with the ui i'll go with midnight blue color so after you are done with everything just press on ok like this and then you are done so this is all i have for you but so please if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe to my channel thank you